Good day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 13th day of May. And today we're going to be covering another uh, topic on the How Much More uh, devotionals, and this is How Much More Part 4. And so you can go back and watch the other ones. Uh, so praise the Lord, and so that will be today's devotional topic. And so before we get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior. Amen. And once you're saved, then he desires for you to live a holy and pure life and to follow him and obey him in every aspect. And uh, so let's uh, work harder on that. Amen. I'm just as guilty. All right. So today's uh, scripture Song is from Psalms 25, verses 1 through 4. So let me press play here on the CD and we'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. Psalms 25, verses 1 through 4. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none of them wait upon thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Amen. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul, oh my God, I trust in Thee, let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me, and let them that way from Thee be ashamed, let them be ashamed. Which transgress without cause, oh my God, I trust in Thee, let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me, show me Thy ways, only so Lord, teach me Thy path. Has, oh Lord, oh my God, I trust in Thee, let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me, oh my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. Amen. Alright, praise the Lord. Alright, hold on one second, be right back. Sorry about that. Alright, alright, here I am, back, amen, alright, sorry about that, had to do something really quick, alright, so, that was uh, the scripture song, and we'll do that one more time towards the end of the broadcast, put it back over there, there we go, alright, now it's time to get into today's devotional topic, and it's titled, How Much More, Part 4, amen, and so the passage from 1 Samuel 23, verse 3, and it says, And David's men said unto him, Behold, we be afraid here in Judah, how much more than if we uh, come to uh, Keliah against the armies of the Philistines. 1 Samuel 23, 3. And the author today, of course, is Brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times, Day Heights, Ohio. And so let me read you what he wrote today on this topic of how much more for... He says here, 
David's 600 men were more afraid of being in Judah with King Saul uh, hot on their heels uh, than they were of the Philistines. Hmm. Uh, if you read down a few more verses, they were right to be fearful. For after delivering the uh, Keelites, uh, they treacherously were prepared to deliver their benefactors into the hands of King Saul. They uh, skedaddled from there into the wilderness, and Saul decided to forget them for a bit. Verses 12 through 14 of uh, 1 Samuel. Uh, isn't it interesting how we fear one foe more than another? Yeah, isn't it interesting how we do that? Fear one foe more than another, and both are easily defeated by faith and fortitude. Jesus told his disciples, and us to beware of men, right? Beware of men. Matthew ten seventeen. He foretold, foretold that they would suffer persecution from without and within the family circle. See verse uh, 21. Uh, verse 21. I don't know if that's from Matthew 21 or for Samuel. Uh, verse 20. Uh, let me see here. I guess I'll look at Matthew 10, 21 first. Because he just says verse 21. Didn't say, didn't specify it was uh, Matthew or 1 Samuel. So look at Matthew first. Matthew 10, 10, 21. All right, I'll get his verse. See if this is the right verse or if it's in Samuel. So let me see here. Matthew 10, verse 21. Alright, well it says here in Matthew ten twenty one, And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. So that is verse 21. Let me make sure it wasn't 1 Samuel 23. So 1 Samuel 23. Look at that one. Just make sure it wasn't that one. I think it was the Matthew passage. But we'll just double check. So 1 Samuel 23. Alright. So 23 and what was it? Verse 21. So 23, 21. Uh, oh, that's second second Samuel. I was in second Samuel, sorry. First Samuel, not second Samuel. First Samuel twenty three twenty one. Nope, so it was the Matthew passage. Alright, so hey Amen. So we figured that out. So verse twenty one of Matthew ten uh talks about that. Alright, continue on he says he noted that men would hate God's people and persecute them from city to city. He even remarked, If they have called the ma master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Question mark, verse 25. And he says, Emphasis mine. Uh, David's men feared Saul more than the Philistines, and sometimes we fear men more than we do our real foe in life. Jesus said in Matthew ten twenty eight, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. We have an enemy, and God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of sound minds. See Second uh, Timothy 1, verse 7. So let's look at that one. Second Timothy 1, 7. All right, Second Timothy. Oops, I went too far there. Second Timothy and one seven. All right, so one seven says, "For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind." Amen. Praise the Lord. So that was Second uh, uh, Timothy one seven. He says also. Fear ye not, therefore ye are of one more value than many sparrows. Matthew ten twenty uh, thirty one. Amen. So fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows. 
Matthew 10, 31. Amen. All right, so that is the end of the topic, How Much More? Four, or part four. Amen. Talking about uh, how we can fear one enemy above the other. And then the Lord says that, uh, that um, we should uh, beware of men and uh, make sure that we know that men can only destroy the body, but uh, uh, the Lord can uh, destroy both soul and body in hellfire if you don't trust Him as your Savior. Amen. So let's make sure that we have that healthy fear of the Lord. Amen. All right. So that is the end of the devotional topic. So I'll put that over there and grab the hymn song book here, the stories of these different hymns. And today's hymn story is titled, Father, Whatever of Earthly Bliss, written by uh, Anne Steele and... Hans G. Uh, ne Nedgley. And so, I'll press play here and I'll read you the hymn here. Alright, it says, Father, whate'er of earthly bliss thy sovereign will denies, uh, accepted at thy throne, let this my humble prayer arise. Give me a calm and thankful heart from every uh, murmur free, the blessing of thy grace impart, and make me live to thee. Uh, let the sweet hope that thou art mine, my life and death, attend thy presence uh, through my journey, shine and crown my journey's end. Amen. And that is the uh, uh, the hymn there, and so get into the story now uh, from the hymn "Father, Whatever of Earthly Bliss," written in 1760, and the passage is from 1 Peter 5:10. So let me grab the Bible here and read that passage. 1 Peter 5:10. All right. 1 Peter 5. First Peter 5, verse 10 says, uh, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Amen. So that is the, the hymn there. Let me turn this down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. All right. Put that back to the beginning there. All right, so now let's get into the hymn story from this hymn, Father, Whate'er of Earthly Bliss. It says here, The Lord never wastes suffering in the lives of his children. He always blesses their sacrifices. That's the lesson of this once widely sung, now seldom heard hymn. Anne Steele was born in uh, Broughton, England in 1716 the oldest daughter of a timber uh, merchant. She faced her first tragedy at age three when her mother died. Her father, however, raised her by, uh, for the Lord. Growing affluent in his business, he was able to pastor uh, Broughton's Baptist Church without salary, serving 40 years. Anne joined the church at age 14 and became her dad's co-worker. When she was 19, a Severe hip injury left her an invalid. Uh, she never, uh, nonetheless fell in love with one Robert uh, Elskarot, E-L-S-C-U-R-O-T, Elskarot, who proposed to her, but she drowned the day before their wedding. Wow. Uh, out of her, their, her suffering, Anne began writing devotional, so it says, but he drowned the day before their wedding. So this man drowned, and so out of her suffering, Anne began writing devotional material and her ministry alongside her dad to the people of Broughton blossomed. In her mid-forties, Anne submitted her poems on subjects chiefly devotional for publication. Her father wrote in his diary, This uh, day Annie sent part of her composition to London to be printed. I entreat a gracious God 
uh, who enabled and stirred her up to such a work, to direct in, in it uh, the bliss it uh, and in it and uh, bless it for the good of many. I pray God to make it useful and keep her humble. That was from her father. So many of these poems were converted to hymns that Anne is remembered as one of the foremost women hymnists of the 18th century. Amen. Hold on a second. Okay. Get back to the beginning here. Sorry about that. So, all right. So it says so. Uh, many of these poems uh, were converted to hymns that uh, Anne is remembered as one of the foremost women hymnists of the 18th century. Her best-known hymn, Desiring uh, Resignation uh, and Thankfulness, uh, was written as a personal prayer. And this is how it goes. Uh, Father, whate'er of it, earthly bliss the sovereign well, uh, will denies, accepted at thy throne, let this my humble prayer arise. Give me a calm and thankful heart from every murmur free, the blessing of thy grace impart, and make me live to thee. Let the sweet hope that thou art mine, my life and death attend, the presence through my journey shine, and crown my journey's end. And he concludes here, the prayer of the final stanza was answered on November 11, 1778, the day of her death. As her weeping friends gathered around, she closed her eyes and whispered her last words, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is the uh, hymn story behind the hymn, Father, whate'er of earthly bliss about this woman Anne Steele. Amen. And so that is the end of uh, today's hymn story and hymn. Praise the Lord. Alright, so tomorrow's hymn story is from the hymn, There Is a Fountain, and it was written by William uh, Cowper, and it was a traditional American medley arranged by Lowell uh, Mason, so that will be tomorrow's hymn story and hymn, There Is a Fountain, and it was written in 1772, and the passage that goes along with it is from Romans 3.25. So that will be tomorrow's hymn story. It's a good hymn there. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. Amen. All right. So that's the hymn story for today. And now let's go ahead and sing today's scripture song one more time before I wrap it up. And again, the scripture song is from uh, Psalms 25, 1 through 4. Amen. All right. Psalms 25, 1 through 4. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait upon thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Amen. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. None that wait on thee be ashamed, let them be ashamed, which transgress without cause. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. Show me thy ways, O oh, oh Lord, teach me thy paths, thy paths, O oh Lord, O oh my God, 
I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not mine enemies triumph over me. Amen. All right. Well, that will end it for today's broadcast. But as always, before I go, I'll give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topic for tomorrow's Baptist Bread devotional. And tomorrow is the 14th already. And the passage is from Proverbs 31, 30. And it says, Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. So, that is talking about the virtuous woman, Proverbs thirty-one thirty, amen. And so, that's the scripture song, and then tomorrow's topic will be titled, A Friend to Strangers, and the passage is from Matthew twenty-five thirty-five, amen. So, that would be tomorrow's devotional topic, and uh, then tomorrow's hymn story will be from the hymn, There Is a Fountain, amen. Good hymn there. All right, so that will be it for today. And before I go, let me give you these addresses here so you can get your hands on one of these uh, uh, boxes of these devotionals if you'd like to do so. And they're available on the website here at www.timgreenministries.org. And then, of course, Brother Dean and Sister Patty have their scripture songs up on their website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. Amen. And if you would like to... Know the title of this uh, book here I've been reading on it. It's titled, Then Sings My Soul, 150 of the World's Greatest Hymn Stories, written by Robert J. Morgan. And, of course, he doesn't use King James Scripture, so that's why I grab my Bible every time I read the Scripture to you. And uh, so, praise the Lord for these hymn stories. Amen. They're pretty good. All right. And these hymns. Amen. All right, well, that'll about do it for today's broadcast. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, and remember, only Jesus Christ can save your soul. So believe on him today, and he'll wash away all your sin. Amen. All right, Brother Scott signing off. So see you, Lord willing, next time, here, there, or in the air.